Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial for mom. Today we're going to go over finding documents on your computer. That could possibly be one of the more terrifying things for someone to try to do if they have no idea where any of the documents are inside of your computer. Now you would be tempted to open this folder down here and say, okay, I want to search for um, instructions because that's what's on the desktop there, instructions.txt. And it found a bunch of stuff which is not, not instructions, okay? So how do you know what folder to find the document that you know is instructions? It's right here. And what are all these other things? Let's simplify. Let's make this better. Let's get it done. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to a website, ninite.com. If you don't know what that website is, it is an amazing website for installing uh, tools and software where you do not have to go through all of the prompts. You know, the prompts that ask you, do you want to install the ask.com toolbar? Do you want to install the Yahoo toolbar? Do you want to install candy crush on your aunt's machine whatever it is it avoids all of that just installs the app for you it's amazing you can select from any of these apps and do it all in one install for today we're going to be installing a tool called search everything it is under the other section on ninite.com it just says everything if you mouse over the box there, it says local file search engine. That's perfect. Select that box. Make sure it's checked. Go down to the bottom and click the big blue button that says get your Ninite. Basically, your Ninite is your installer. It's going to give you a little prompt here asking you what you want to do. It's okay to run this right from there. You should get a little prompt here asking if it's okay for Ninite to go ahead and install this. It is now downloaded. It is installed. It says that it's finished. We can close this. We can close out of our browser. Okay. Uh, if you need to pause this video, pause it now. You can see all of the information on this text file. I'm going to go ahead and close it at this time. Now I put an icon on your desktop called Search Everything, which was the title of the program that I told you it, we would be installing. You can double click this to open and it asks if you want to allow it to make changes to your device. You click yes. And just like that, it's gone through and it has indexed everything on your machine, which is amazing. You can see you've got a search bar up here up top. You've got a bunch of stuff here. You've got names, paths, what's the size, when was the last date modified. Okay, we're going to search for this instructions.txt. You'll notice that as you type, it starts whittling down the options that are available and it narrows it down to our file instructions.txt it tells us that it is on the desktop so we can double click this file now it asks if we want to open it with notepad that's fine and there we go we have it now what it won't do is search inside of the document so let's say that you wanted to search for Ninite okay if you were to go here and search for Ninite notice that it doesn't have instructions.txt it only has our installers and things like that that we downloaded but it doesn't have the instructions.txt well what if it's a little further than just the desktop right well, I have a file here, file on desktop, but I have also put that file and many others inside of documents. Documents folder, random name, now we're down inside of other folders. File on desktop, it's exactly the same name, okay? So how would you know if you have two files that are the same name, right? One in your My Documents under this big long folder path and one on your desktop. How do you know which one it returns? Well, let's do that. File underscore 
on underscore desktop. Okay, it has narrowed it down for us. You've got file on desktop, and the path for that is in on your desktop. And then you've also got the path to your other one. So it shows you which document and where it's located so that you cannot be confused. If you have it in multiple locations, you can tell what locations those are. Uh, I didn't say this earlier, but you can click drag this to make it wider so you can see more of the information there if that's what you would like to do. Okay, so we note here that uh, I've got a bunch of different documents in here. Okay, we've got the file on desktop, but we've also got a file with spaces in the name, right? I used underscores on the other one. Well, what would it do with file with spaces in the name? So file space with, and there it is. It handles spaces just like you would type them on your computer. Super easy, super effective. What about capitalization okay this document is all caps okay but maybe you don't remember that you named it with all caps it is important tax information dot pdf but you don't remember that you named that with all caps it doesn't matter important tax information there you go it has found it right there and if you want to open that important tax information you actually see that it is some rando document that uh, has nothing to do with tax information. That's fine. Okay. So now let's go back up. Let's go to a different folder here. We've got all sorts of different capitalization and, and we've got some punctuation inside of here. Receipt for Joe's Lawn Service and it's got an apostrophe S. That has the capability of tripping some things up. Let's see what this can do. Joe's handles it just like you type it. Perfect. And you can find the path right there and you can find the document. Double click on the document and there you go. You've got it. I don't want to shut off my uh, machine though. So you do have some options here on how you want to view your results. All I'm doing is uh, right click view and changing how it's putting this information out. You can also right click and copy the full name to your clipboard. Let's say you want to look at this, what all is in this folder that is uh, documents random name 1984. Well, I right clicked and copied the full path. I can then go up here and paste that in. You can see that it's got the full path to the document. If you just delete the document name, then it will take you to the folder where that exists. Okay, well I was already on that folder, that's not that impressive. Let's try this again in a different folder. Go to the folder, delete that document name, and hit enter, there you go. We're right there in the folder. We can see all of the documents that are in the same folder as the document that we were searching for. And just in case you were curious, there you go. Um, yeah, can't really get any information from that. Sorry. As always, if you have any questions, please post them down below. I appreciate you watching the video. I hope this was helpful to somebody. And until the next time, we'll see you later.